Uh, after my enlistment, I got out and I spent 25 years wondering if maybe I might skydive again someday because parachuting was cool. I never thought I could do round canopy again. Social media taught me, yeah, I can do that. And uh, November of 2016, I made my first jump in nearly 30 years and was crying as I walked off the drop zone because it felt like airborne, reborn. Uh, the, the strength and, and, and uh, support you get in these circles is beyond compare. I, I can't imagine not doing it. If you've been over there, you've probably seen some stuff that's challenging to deal with, especially if you find yourself in a civilian world and have to cope. Uh, they can put labels on it all day long. It, having some support and having somewhere to put your focus and then being around that uplifting community is the best therapy I can ever imagine. Um, I know there's other paths to take. I've done some things myself to try and change my headspace or whatever. And nothing's like this. It, it warms your heart, you know? I mean, especially when you realize that there's some serious things in people's brains that can weigh them down. And then you, you see that weight lift. It's uh, therapeutic for you too. I mean, you see somebody else is doing better, you feel better. And to know that it's just because we're all hanging out and we've got that common bond and, and we're willing to support each other, uh, it it's speaks volumes. For many RCPT USA members, playing an active role in commemoration of a significant paratrooper battle fuels their passion to honor those heroes while preserving the history of the airborne soldier. November of 16, when I realized I could jump again, very shortly after that, I heard about Normandy and somebody mentioned 2019 being the 75th anniversary and that went on my list immediately. What do I have to do to get there? Uh, the uniform I have to buy, well, how many jumps do I have to have, uh, what kind of travel range, all those kind of things. Uh, and for two and a half years, it was almost pins and needles. Uh, getting over there, hmm. words fail. It was uh, a once in a lifetime opportunity. Uh, jumping where combat jumpers went in before to help liberate the continent was just mind-blowing. This one only works if everybody joins in on the chorus. But even more than that was to shake the hands and hear the stories of the guys that were there. He jumped right out into the blast aesthetic line of hope. He ain't gonna jump no more. And, and they're still so vibrant and so enthused. And, and when you give them a little time and attention, you're rewarded tenfold. I'm down at Fort Benning and I get a call from a buddy of mine and he says, Rick, we're jumping into Normandy. Are you in? And I hadn't jumped in probably 15 years. I'm an old retired Special Forces guy. So I said, hell yeah, I'm in. And when I hung up the phone, I thought, man, you're 60 years old. What did you just do? Hook up, hook up. So we came up here for the, the basic airborne refresher and then the, the jump master refresher. And uh, it was one of the most professional courses that I've ever, I've ever been to. And I've been to a bunch. These guys, totally safe, switched on. I mean, motivated. Check equipment. Check equipment. They make dangerous things safe. When I saw how well it was run. All okay, Jump Master. Outstanding, young man. And the professionalism of the cadre here. One minute! Just the historical aspect of it, I was hooked. When we jumped into Normandy, we were going in the footsteps of our forefathers. So flying over the countryside, you know, the same, uh, the same routes, the same drop zones that these guys uh, had, had gone into was, was surreal. We know what we owe to you veterans, our freedom. On behalf of my nation, I just want to say thank you. It was beautiful. All of those guys were young kids back in the day. They still had a spark in their eye. I mean, that was just, it was priceless. Because you know, those guys are national treasures. I was in the Army 24 years, you know, 19 combat tours. I've done a lot of cool stuff. The camaraderie that you have in the round camping parachute team is just comparable to the camaraderie you have at like a special forces group. A couple years ago, they said, hey, we're gonna go to uh, Paris for the 75th anniversary of D-Day. I had been retired for nine years. I hadn't jumped around canopy in nine years. So we were like, hey, what are we gonna do? Check equipment! Check, check equipment! We're hooked up with the round canopy parachute team and Bill Markham just happened to be a retired uh, Lieutenant Colonel who had worked in special forces community. So it was like, hey, that was a no brainer. So here we were. To be able to reflect from things that we did to the guys that jumped in on D-Day and into Market Garden, you know, them guys are some heroes. Them guys did some crazy stuff. 